everybody, this is Joe, and uh, I'm going to continue on on our uh, playthrough of uh, Armed and Dangerous. So here we go. Oh, that doesn't look good. we got to go this way. No idea that would happen. Get killed by the uh, fallen tower. Oh shit! It's a jetpack. Slap out. Get hit by it again. Where is it? Oh, there. Dragging the dude around. not a good video so far. Keep on dying. Thank you. 
time. Jesus. I think we forgot the uh, the other guy up on that tower. In the first tower. Oh, you caught one. guy. Got a uh, tower up here. Oh, up. partner has died. So guess it all let's go in this uh, this pub. And then she looked at me. In the moon, eyes twinkling like the stars above, so and said, "So we get all right." Oh shit! Keep using their own gun. They'll write Hello. books about you. I know they will. There's freaking uh, sheepies all over the place. Ooh. I haven't been this high since 1974. I am. Uh, I really need to get a new headset. This thing is crazy. It's like falling off my head. Which me am I supposed to be going? Anyway. So turn. So there's three uh, captured guys to find, and they don't even look like they're captured, like when you see them, they're just like standing around. So you look at him, he doesn't look like he's captured, he's just all by himself up there on the, up there on the mountain. I don't know. Go up 
this way. Let's try this way. There we go. Hello. There you go, rescued. So I guess my other guys are dead. That's kind of weird that they actually have, uh, I guess they have little life bars. Uh, the health. Coffee cup full of health. Uh, I gotta get up there. Ooh. not telling me to look up here, but I think I left him. Yeah, there it is. Let's go ahead and get him, if we can. I think we can. Uh, should have got him the first time, but I was trying not to die. Oop, there's somebody still in here. Okay, get your hand off me ass. Got three people just trolling around with me. Alright, so let's get them back to their houses. Uh, and I think I should probably still keep going up there. Because uh, I'm probably. Ooh, I'll fall off the mountain. Uh. See, there's a gap there. How do I get up there? I think that's how I get Okay. So. Uh, let's go up here. I thought I saw a little ramp. Yep. Hey, there he is. Time to go home! Alright. Get to, uh. Oh! Take them back to their houses. And I think I saw the houses over here. Uh, and it kind of sucks that my little arrow thing is uh, gone because it'd probably be a lot easier to help me figure out where these guys go back to. Here. Uh, 
tower. the house. An empty, empty house. So I've got some turret. Mounted gun. But here, I, uh, I don't think that is uh, right. Where is it? Ugh, okay. oh, this is so confusing. I don't think this is the way to go. This is not the way to go. So basically, we just have one guy left to uh, to get back. And, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of getting on my nerves because I hate just <laughs> just running around. Yeah, that's a house up there. Ooh. job. The king will be furious. You have destroyed his rocket towers, breaking his control of the mountains. Now off you go to the mountain to Dick Turpin Village. <laughs> That's kind of nasty, but all right. Uh, wanted level went up, and uh, let's see. What do you mean they destroyed it? They surprised us, sire. Ooh. And who are you? Sire, this is Brother Ingmar, one of the Wildwood monks. The, uh, Have you unlocked the book here? Ghost of Christmas Not Future. Yet, sire. While under the locking spell, the book continues to appear as the great book of basket weaving. But we are only days away from unlocking it. And we are some pretty fabulous baskets for your lordship. Sire, it's a cocoon. The locking spell has had some strange effects on the monks. They have a newfound love of, well, basket weaving. If your lordship so pleases, I brought you one. Oh yeah, this is just a prototype. Later, who knows? But you are picking up basket. Get away from me. <laughs> and Rexus, Dick Turpin Village, sire. We are preparing <laughs> to attack. Welcome to our village. Uh, Lily has told us of your quest. 
We thank you for helping our people. The Majorcan prophecy is our only hope. Uh, great. Um, how do we get out of here? Off to set up the defences, then? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Today's battle will be a great one. And if you are to die on the battlefield, your memory will live on always. Okay, that's it. What the bloody hell are you on about? What battle? <laughs> By the king's forces. They're preparing to sack our village. When are they supposed to be here? Dawn. <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> Defeated them yet? Okay, lads. What are we going to do? What kind of defenses do you have? Well, we have Henry. Henry? My grandfather. He's the oldest soldier in the village. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody looks exactly the same. Except for Henry. Safe. He's awfully thin. Yes, he doesn't eat much. <gasps> <laughs> Quick, Grandfather, come outside! What? Who are you? Grandfather, we need your help! You are not my grandfather! <laughs> Can you handle a gun? Jimmy! Oh, he's coming to pick me up for a drive in the country! But I told Annie Ma, oh, no, 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 no! Jimmy can't drive! He's only two years old! Oh, this! <laughs> Oh. Okay, anyone else? Preferably living. Poor Excuse Henry. me, sir. We do have the shrub patrol. There's a village gardening robot. We are here to serve you, sir. Okay. Look, the enemy's approaching. What do you suggest? <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes, we can plant a hedgerow. Ah, hedgerow? Yes, with some myrtle and maybe a row of geraniums. <laughs> Can you do anything with them? Uh, I'll try. I can't promise anything. Sorry, we're not programmed for that kind of... Okay, soldiers, let's move out. Uh, good. You defend the... I'm sorry, civilian, I can't talk now. We have a crisis here. Why? Yes, keep back. 